Hello everybody and welcome to my 35th VBA 2010 tutorial and this tutorial is going to show you how to use the worksheet events uh, or the workbook events. So a workbook event is if we go into our workbook whenever we do something in here it's not just kind of magically doing it, it's, it Excel's got a set of functions in the background that are waiting for you to click on any of these buttons or click, change any of the cells and then when they're called it will run off, it will call a function, it will run some code in the background. Uh, so let's say we we select this cell here. Now it hasn't just selected that cell, what it's done is it's realised that we've clicked it's it's worked out what cell we've clicked in, it's sent off into the background, it's run some code, it's come back and it's told how to update the screen. So what we can do as VBA programmers is we can actually hack into this event and we can put our own code in there to run kind of additionally. Uh, so how we do this is if we go into our editor uh, and let's just close off all our windows over here and within the worksheet that we want an event, so we're going to put it in sheet 1 just right click on this and go to view code uh, alternatively just double click on it and then we get our kind of editor window up here and we can start putting functions in here now we're not going to write the events ourselves to start off with what we're going to do is we just click on this drop down up here and select worksheet and then on this drop down up here and just make sure it's on selection change and then it's going to write this function in here for us which is an automatic event function and it's called worksheet underscore selection change don't change this this is important that it's named this and then it's passing this parameter into the function target as a range automatically we don't have to call this function at all at any point and we don't have to pass it that that target range this function is going to get called as soon as we change our selection on the worksheet and then whenever, whatever we change our selection to Excel is going to pass us in this target variable as a range for us to work with so we can do what we want with this target so let's say target dot value same way we would access the value of a normal range equals and then just put changed uh, and then when we go back into our our workbook and then whenever we change our selection uh, it's going to change the value of that selection to changed uh, and then even if we say put in a value in one of them and then overwrite it it's going to overwrite the value for us um, then we can kind of get a little bit more in depth than that so let's say we put in a uh, of kind of enhanced for loop so for each uh, cell in target dot cells next cell and then this is going to loop through all of the cells that we target um, so let's say we want to take cell dot interior dot color index equals cell dot interior color index plus one and then oh debug and at the moment it's not going to work because we need to just put this on pause a second and then make this all white so this is a really good example but it doesn't work with the kind of no fill without you putting something in the background so let's just go back into here um, take it off pause and then now we can play this um, so let's highlight something in here and then you notice it's changed to red and then if we kind of highlight over that then it's going through each of the cells and just adding one onto the color index and as we keep highlighting it's just going to keep doing it so these ones say the color index is one so when we highlight those it's changing those to two and then the next one's to three and the next one's to four and the next one's to five and cycling through our different color indexes and we can just kind of keep going and it's quite cool it's quite pretty um, if we start going a bit crazy with it 
and it's going to start looking a little bit radical. Um, but yeah, that's that's how you can kind of loop through all the selections. Uh, it's very good for if someone's um, kind of unlock their computer and you sneak on and you, you you can. That's quite a bit, a quick bit of code to write, and then they're going to get really confused when they log back into uh, their their thing and uh, maybe it's what you've done to it. Not that I'm uh, saying that you should be doing that kind of thing at work, but um, yeah. You get the idea. Uh, and I could sit there and doing that all day, to be honest. It's quite fun to do. Um, so I, I recommend making this bit of code uh, and just sending it to someone else. It's quite cool. Uh, but that's how you would use the basics of using an event. Over the next tutorials, I'm going to show you how to use a variety of different kind of events. Uh, so that's it for this tutorial. Uh, thanks for listening, and I hope to catch you in the next tutorial.